Hello guys, it's Paula and promised you I'd be back today. So I am going to start right out, right from the start. We're going to start on the Alice. Well, it's not Alice. It's a, it's the trifold, the time clock, tri, or time card trifold. And so we talked last night, we talked about how we were going to do this and how we were going to hinge some pockets or hinge some pages off from those. This is the front I showed you in the last video, so you know all about that. So we don't have to dwell on that. We've got our belly band on here with some ooh la la music uh, fabric. And then I just put a piece of music back here. Now it does need to be inked, but I'm not worrying with that right now. Okay. So, there's two different ways that I'm going to hinge on here. An easy way, but then you'll see it on the back, but we can always cover that, right? Or the harder way. So, let's do the harder way first. Everything's been inked, so hopefully we don't have to use that ink. So, here is a piece of coffee stained paper that I folded in half and cut to the length depending on the length of your book as to how tall you want this to be, the time uh, card that is, and you want the open part of the fold right here to be toward the outside so that when you hinge it open, it will bring the item out. Now, if you wanted it to come in, you would do the same. Now, um, or the opposite. <laughs> I'll get it off. I'll get it out. No, if you, that's not true. You would do it the same because you could get it to come in or out doing it this way. Okay, so let's glue that on first and get it out of the way so it can be drying. Um, I could have done a lot of this ahead of time, but I wanted you to see how I did it and how simple it is. You could take a piece of... Um, file folder or anything heavy enough to make a trifold and just make one the size you want and um, add your hinges and make you know make it like you want it's kind of like a little mini folio <laughs> you know I know Tracy Fox and some of them have been really into making the folios I am um, I have made them before and it's been a while I've actually got some I need to finish. I actually made the Tim Holtz ones because at that time I didn't know of any other way, but now I do, thanks to Tracy. And uh, you can even get it free if you don't want to build it yourself. But this is how you could build one right here. What we're doing now is, is a way to build them. So we want to separate this so that if there's any glue in here, you know, we can we can get it off. I'm going to get a wipey out. Can't start without my wipey because I get it all over me. And my glue eraser. Okay. Now, right in here, you know, you usually have to deal with... Uh, my hands are wet now. I don't want to get it wet. You want to have... You have to deal with a little bit of glue right here on the end because I just cut it shy just a little bit of the right height. Um, and I'm not even gonna worry about it. It's exactly right at the bottom. So, yeah. Get any excess glue because when you close it, you're gonna have it attaching. If you don't, everybody knows that. Um, okay. Here we go. So we got the hinge down. Let's let that dry. I'm gonna mat this piece of manila folder. I just took this off a of file folder. I'm gonna use the three kinds of cardstock we're using inside the book and just just lay it down on top just to give it, you know, a matchy matchy feel to the book since we're gonna use it in the book. I didn't mean to do two videos tonight. I was just going to show you my sidekick in the last video, and it kind of got 
I got to like 45 minutes and I was like, oh no. So we'll just do another one. Because I love doing them and it doesn't bother me a bit. Um, so you're going to attach it here like a mat. We're going to mat this manila folder basically. Try to get it in the right place to start with and you won't have as much glue to deal with maybe. You heard me say maybe, right? <laughs> so, um, then we're going to make sure there's no glue. There's a little bit so we can get it off. Just a tiny bit right there, but it's still oozing out. Lovely. Okay, now little bit right there. This shows you how finicky I am <laughs> about everything. I'm, you know, I try not to be, but I like everything to not, I don't want it showing a bunch of gobs of glue, you know? And um, so now that we have this ready, we we still have glue. That's kind of why I'm still picking. See, when it comes up with these balls, you know, balls of glue, you'll know that it's still got glue on it. Okay. Um, so now we're going to adhere it to this hinge. <clears throat> but we have to decide. I want this on the outside for sure. And you'll have to decide when it's all said and done. If you want to cover this hinge, when we get inside, we can put another piece of paper or we can just journal. So let's put the glue on the hinge itself. I'm going to try real hard not to get right up to the edge of where the hinge meets the... I don't know how easy that's going to be now that I say it. I'm going to try not to have a whole lot seep over onto the card we're adding on. Now underneath, you have to watch out because when you put it on this hinge, it also gets on everything. Okay, so now we want to make sure we're lining this up. Okay. You line it up over here. Make sure you're all the way to the bottom. Get all the way to the top. Line it up along the bottom and the top so you know it's straight. Now it's going to come down a little bit from the top because my hinge didn't go all the way up. But also right here a big old thing of glue seeped out while we were working on it. We just cleaned all those out and then here's another one. Soon as we're done doing this glue, we got to go inside because that's where it could be more critical as far as gluing to its hinge. Now you want to make sure that your card is on here where your hinge can stop. Now see like right there, we need to push it over some more. Hopefully it's not too dry. Eh, maybe it is. You can actually hinge in the wrong spot. Like if you come forward too much, I'm trying to bend it out some so we can get it out there. Let's see if we can. It's gonna wanna wobble a little bit. Not my most perfect hinge, but it's working. See, it's work. It's working just fine. You just kind of have to get it bent down when it's just slightly off. See, if you don't put it out as even as this line right here on the time card, you can see it's just kind of over the piece I added just a little bit. That will kind of cause it to catch. And, um, that's no fun. That's no fun at all. So we've got this one down. 
Uh, and I could have added a little bit more glue right here, but I didn't want the seepage, but now I wish I did. So we may add something over that. No big deal. Okay, so this part is done, and we'll decorate the inside when we get the outside done. Now, here is um, a simple way to hinge. Um, we're gonna do it in the middle. Is I took a piece of manila folder. Believe it or not, it was already folded. And it was longer, so I had to cut it down to just like a half an inch. And I inked it really well. And what you can do in this situation is you can just hook it over the bottom of the time card and line it up exactly where you want it. Now we're not gonna glue on the time clock, on the time card. I'm gonna move this music sheet out of there. We're gonna line it up, and I found a line right here, or I just got lucky that I can line it up with. Then we're gonna mat it, and then we have a smaller piece, just like it, at the top, and I did not measure for it to come out even, but by Georgie, it did. It came out pretty even. I'm gonna line it up with this one so that it looks like it's one piece. But you still got to say inside the fold. So remember that. And then we're going to cover this one. And then I, we're going to come back and do something else. So let's do the big one first. We can actually put the mats on first and go from there. I like to mat things. I know it gives it some... I don't know, it gives it gives it a little bit of thickness. You know, if it's a, something that's standalone like this. And if you have a lot of extra room in your book, that's fine. I'm just gonna put this one, it's going to be slipped in between the two signatures. And it may be attached by a um, paper clip or something. Okay, so we want to line it up like we did before where you can see the manila folder all the way around the four corners, or four sides. And um, I usually try to rub in the middle because I'm hoping that that will hold on to some of the glue. I can already see some seeping out in two different places. I love doing this kind of thing, just putting something together, you know, that you just you just uh, figured out you could put together. You can do this with anything, honestly, guys, anything. Um, so we'll get that all off of there, and then we'll move on and put the mat on the other piece that goes on top. That was much faster. That's what I mean. Okay, so we have the small one now, so we want to put that on. I don't know what these measurements on the back are. It wasn't for this, so don't write them down. <laughs> it was just on a scrap. I'm sure I just grabbed it and flipped it over to write a size on something. Okay. All right. Now we're going to put this on here. Lay that little hinge out. We want it to be around all four corners. And I know they're kind of, I can't remember if I matched them up to each other. It looks like they would be, they would look better if they were matched up, don't they? So let's just move it over a little. It's going to be over to the side a little bit, but that's okay. I'd rather them look lined up if I'm going to have them on top of each other like this than to have one off to one side and one off to the other side. And they're not going to be perfect, but we'll get close enough. There we go. No glue seepage on this one. Yes, it is a miracle. <laughs> okay, now... Just want to make sure I didn't move it in the process. I say no glue seepage and then I the light hits it just right and I can see one right here. But it's not bad. I, I don't know. Have you ever gone back and looked 
at your projects when you don't really care about getting the glue off? I have. And, and believe it or not, as finicky as I am about it, um, I still miss stuff. And it irritates me when I see that. I'll be like, oh, you know, how did I miss that glue? Okay. Now I think we're ready to put the hinges on. Okay. So let's make sure we're still lined up. Everything is falling over everything because it's pretty crowded. Let me make sure you guys can still see. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So my best, the decision I made was that I think it's best to glue on the inside of this hinge on the opposite side of where we were just working. Now you don't want to get it up, um, you'd rather get it down here where it can seep out than to get it up here where it's going to glue the front part, okay? It's probably going to do some of that anyway. Let's turn it sideways. See this line? I'm going to line it up with that line. And I want it where it will fold over and line straight up with that line. I hope my head's not in the video. I'm sorry, my hair's a mess if it is. It was fixed earlier. <laughs> but it's a knot now. It gets in my face and then I just slap a pin in it because my bangs are drive me crazy right now. Okay, so we do have a little bit of glue right here. So we want to just first rub it out because sometimes you can get it pretty good by just rubbing it out. Now we got to give this a couple minutes, not a couple minutes, but you know, a minute <laughs> to kind of grab hold of the back of the, the trifold. And in the process, we'll just get this glue off properly. Now, I'm going to flip it over so we can see what's happening on the other side. I mean, we could have this huge blob of glue and not even know it. Now, see, you're going to have this, this on the other side. But you don't have to. You can do it like we did this one where you don't have anything on the other side. It's up to you as to what you want to do. Um, I personally you know, probably won't flip it to the back that often if it were me using it, but um, I don't know. Let's get it on here like that and get all the glue off. Make sure it's pushed up as good as it can be. Looking to see if we got all that glue. Still a little bit. Not bad. All right. So that one is done and ready to move on to the top one. And look how nice and straight that is on this side. See, we're going to have them lined up nice and straight. Okay, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to glue on the, the wrong side here. Try to avoid the, this, the fold line. Okay, now when we line this up again, we want to line up down that line because we know it's going to be straight. I kind of try to pick an area. I think I'm, I think I'm going to have to turn it upward for this one because I can't see the other side. Now you want it down like this. See, it's just slightly, one slightly taller than the other. Um, I think I'm going to move this over just a tiny bit. Because it's just slightly, I guess I just slightly got off the, the line on that one part. Just barely though. Let's make sure this folds okay, and it does. Let's make sure this folds okay, and it does. 
Okay, now let's look at the back. If I can get everything to lie down, <laughs> take a nap while I do this. Sorry about Sadie in the last video. Oh my word, my husband, my garage door did not work today when I went to go to therapy and to get my hair done. So guess what? I didn't get to go to therapy and get my hair done because some big thing broke off of it and I couldn't get it open. So I just rescheduled. So next week I'll be super busy compared to this week. I hate it when that happens, don't you? When you have it all planned out just where you you have time at home, but you also um, have time to do your the fun things you like to do, but also get business taken care of. Okay, now let's look in here and see if there's any glue inside. I don't see any, just a tiny bit. So this can come down and it's good to go. Let me look at this side again. Got quite a bit on this side. Just kind of letting it dry a little bit at a time. You can tell when it's still wet because your adhesive remover will um, slide a little bit. I might have to do one of the folios for one of my design team projects. I've been thinking it's been a long time since I've done one, so maybe that would be fun for next time. Well, I just have to see what I end up with as far as what I'm going to design and We'll go from there, but I'm gonna add a little bit of ink right there where I erased with that glue adhesive, I mean that adhesive remover. It just kinda got in the way a little bit. Okay, now we've got it all on there and like, man, that's awesome, right? Now, we can do this. We've got this side. I don't really like the way this looks, but I wanted to demo this for you um, and show you the two different ways that I like to hinge. Now, if we had hinged the other way, it would have been on the back too, but then when we fold this in, you would have been able to see it. So I think it's just that I used the coffee stain paper because this doesn't fold close like that very well. I tried it and it just, it didn't look good. I was like, forget that. Okay, so I wanna take, you, you know, we don't want this to flop up, right? We want it to have some kind of closure. So here is one of the Alice, all about Alice uh, images with a circle. Now, I'm thinking we can put it right here. I'm not gonna mat it. I was gonna mat it, but I think it'd be more flexible like this. So if we glue it on the bottom, I think it's more likely to let this flip up. Let me hold it down like it's being glued. See what I'm saying? Now, if you need, if you need to get back in, you can just raise that if you have to. But, um, yeah, a little bit more on the bottom than on the top. And then you've got, you just go over here and, now as far as closing it, you might have to flex this down a little bit. I'm trying to hang on to it and do it at the same time with one hand. So you wanna flex it down and it will end up bending it some. That's the downside to it, but you gotta have it fit or I can bring it down further and it won't be as hard. Let's see how that is.
Hmm. I think it will work fine once once you start working on it and making it work right. Okay, so we're going to just glue the top half or the top bottom down. Okay. Now, like I said, I'm going to bring it down further than I planned. You want to center it on the bottom here. And you're going to get a whole lot of glue. A whole lot of glue. Back here in the back, I'm not seeing. Yeah, there is some. So you're going to get glue, and then we're just going to have to clean it up. Let's do it. Let's lay it like this so we don't have it everywhere. Oh, my word. It's just sliding all over the place. I think what we have to do is just hold it for a minute in place. And um, try not to get it all over you at the same time. And once it quits sliding around, we can then uh, wipe it off as best we can. Yeah, that leaked a lot. That's at, that's irritating, isn't it? When that happens. But I wanted, I put a little more on there because I wanted it, it's going to be moved, you know, whenever they're in their journal and... I wanted it to work for them. I I mean, I say this about a lot of my journals, but when I start them, I have no idea <laughs> what they're going to... I, you know, I don't always have any idea what they're going to look like as far as color schemes and stuff like that. So I really like the colors that I picked for this um, and the paper. It just... Uh, I just really like it in comparison. Now, I'm going to turn this over and hold right here because that will keep the front side where it's supposed to be, hopefully. And we'll get some of this glue off. Oh, it just moved. Okay, let's see what it did. <gasps> can't live with it, can't live without it. I'm talking about Fabri uh, Fabrifix or Fabri-Tac, whichever one you have. <laughs> Fabrifix is what I've got. And that other bottle is Fabri-Tac. So you just don't ever know what the store is going to have. They're pretty much the same, I think. Okay, so this time let's do on this side for a little bit. Try to get some of that up without moving it too much. Sadly, I would just leave it for after video, but it would dry by then, and I might not be happy with it, how it ends up. If you hear a bell in the background, that's the dog bell for the door. My husband is, I've told you before, he's Mr. Techie, and so he thinks... He has a contraption for everything. So he wants to know when the dog goes to the back, uh, to the door behind our couch because we can't see the door from where we're sitting. And our sectional sits out and then the door, the hall to the door is right behind our couch. And <laughs> she'll go to the door and, you know, sometimes she won't ring the bells on the door loud enough. It's because he needs to have his hearing checked. But that's another story. Anyway, uh, I think we're straight on Alice on this side. So maybe we're safe to go. I mean, you could even stitch these on if you wanted to. I, I think I'd be more patient. It'd be better for me to just get the glue off. Um, but anyway, he put this little bale up by the door. So when she goes to the door... And it's for him because it can't hear. But it's real annoying if she walks one way and turns and walks back because it just keeps dinging. It's like a 
I can't even describe it. Uh, and I can hear it clear in my room with the door shut. It's still going. It drives him crazy at the same time because she just wants to go out most of the time to play and, and chase leaves. And um, he gets so frust frustrated with her. Oh well, what can I say? I don't let her do that to me. When I'm in the living room, I do not let her do that to me because I would be at the door all day long. If she keeps that up, I'll just put her in a crate for about 30 minutes and she'll forget about it and she'll stop. But she does remember before too long. Or I'll hold her and not let her go to the door until, or let her down until I know it's close to time because she just, oh my gosh, the first month we had her, that's all she would do. Once she discovered the bell and the door and that we would take her out, she would just do it over and over. But this is the funny thing. The last dog we had did the same thing. We bell trained her also, and she did the same thing. Okay, I think we're ready to move ahead. Finally. Just took who knows how long. Okay, so it will be like this. Oh, well, that's not going to work. Wait a minute. Let me think. I had, a, I had it all figured out. There was a way I was going to make this work. Hmm. I've got to think on it. I, I had it all figured out, and I tested it and everything. Do you ever do that? Just forget what you were going to do? Um, it'll come back to me, and I'll show you guys when I get it all figured out if we don't, because we got to move ahead. Okay, um, while, now it's going to bug me. <laughs> it's going to bug me. Okay, so let's open this up. And let's do something with this, because I am not crazy about it. How about, and I thought about this earlier, what about covering it in some music sheets? Because I just think that'd be pretty, but I want to find some that are old. I've got some that are dated. Uh, this one's 1934. Four, but I have some that's dated 1912. Uh, I don't know if I've used them all. There's some of these big ones. The only thing is it makes the print much bigger. It may be this one. Um, for some reason, this one doesn't have a copyright on it. Uh, nope, it's not that one then. Uh, this one is 1970, so it's not all that old. Jesus Christ Superstar, what is this? Let's see what this one is. Music Box Dancer. Uh, I don't like it when it's real spread apart like that. This is 1978. That's not old at all compared to these others I've got. So, let's just go into some of these this small book, and that way we know we're getting, um, we're getting some smaller print that will look better on this. So I'm thinking, this is what I'm thinking. Do we, this is kind of cool, isn't it? Let's see what that, it's dirty and old. Let's see if it'll come off of here and see what it will look like. I kind of like that we're doing the music, um, the music sheets. But see, this would be kind of cool on here if we folded it all the way over, if we brought it all the way over and then put music sheet underneath. But it takes away this journaling right here. So let's just cut it out and see what we end up with. I wonder what happened to the other half of it, because it, I bet it's on the back side of the book. What do you bet? Um, hmm. Put 
looks like somebody just sketched it right into the book. If we don't use it on the background, we could use it on something, you know? We can use it on something. We'll figure it out. While I'm figuring out in my brain, how did I have that set up? It's been a couple days ago, so, or maybe yesterday that I set it up after the other video, I was like, what can I do here? And I had it all planned out. And I just was trucking along like I did have it planned out. Okay. This is cool. So we gotta use it somewhere, right? Um, hmm. We could do it like down here, like it's going off the page. We cover up this mess, but I'm not sure how this would turn out. So let's see if the other, well, we don't have the other side. It looks like it's it's gone to be somewhere. <laughs> Let me find a page that is full and not torn. I need to, this was one of those that was glued in and it's not easy to get them out when they're glued in and they're old because they want to start crumbling on you. Okay, I think would be better off to cut this down to the size, let's cut it right here. I'm not getting in a hurry with this, guys. If we have to do another video, we will. Um, I just feel like, you know, if you hurry, then you don't get it like you want. And sometime tonight, it will come to me, hopefully, how I had planned to do that. I like to cut around the music so that I get complete music <laughs> on my page and um, don't have a lot of white space. My husband's just talking to her. Okay, so let's see if I can set that up there without it falling in the middle of our page. See, this is too short too, but if we brought it up to the top like this and just put it to the corner, See, this is still too short, but we could cut off part of this and make it even. Do you know what I'm saying? That's what we'll do. Okay, so we need to mark off or cut off on this side. Let me get my pencil. Right here. Okay, let me cut it real fast. Sorry, this is not in camera because my table is trashed so bad that I can't get it in camera. Okay, stay up there. Now, this does not have a title at the top and it doesn't start at the beginning of a sentence, but that's okay. Only we would notice that. Okay, because I don't like this hinge, so we're going to sacrifice a little bit of journaling space because of it, but that's okay. Okay, so we will need to ink it, especially down this side here, because it's, um, it's going to be glued down on this side. This paper is fragile when you start inking it. Otherwise, it does okay. I mean, you know, it's easy to tear a music sheet that that is, you know, 1950 or older. Really, 1960 wouldn't shock me either.
looks like my 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 trimmer needs a new blade start seeing little fuzzies And it will wrinkle your paper too. You have to just kind of be patient when you're when you're inking um, this kind of stuff. Okay, and I'll ink over it some once we get it down. Let's go ahead and glue this down. We don't know what's going to happen. And actually, because this is slightly higher on one side up here, we're going to have to go up a little bit. So let me move this over. I think what I'm going to do is glue half at a time. Now, probably we should make a bend here while we've got it, you know, before we glue it down. Just a little bend. Yes, of course it moved. When I know that I'm going to do something like this, I do try to fold it down some. Just because, you know, what can I say? You know it's not going to fold perfect if you don't. I'm not putting tons on here, but I am putting plenty to, um, especially over the fold area, because I don't want it going everywhere. Just got it all over my hand. Speaking of going everywhere, I'm telling you, if there's a glue crisis out there, I'm in the middle of it. <laughs> oh, I tell you. I call myself clumsy. And now I'm in the middle of a crisis with glue. What can I say? Glue and I don't hit it off. Okay, so now I'm not going to worry about that glue because we're about to put this on there too. Now I'm just going to ink where it's been cut because that's really all that needs to be inked except maybe right here. And I'll ink some more on it once it's glued down. Okay, now first, I just realized I haven't done this yet. We got a glue on this side. Let me turn it around. Okay, now we're getting underneath where we know it's going to attach to the... You guys, somewhere my video cut off like at 43 minutes. So we're going to go ahead and take advantage of the next 15 if it will let me record. If it cuts off again, I'm just going to post it like it is. And um, I'm sorry. I don't know why it's doing that. I recorded my other one without any problem. And my battery is charged. So we just glued down on this right flap because I didn't like the hinge. We glued music sheet, and then I found these keys in the back of the music book. So we glued those down and we bent it while we knew it was still wet with glue. And right now we're, we're doing what I do best, getting the glue that seeped out off the piano keys and the music sheet. Um, it was mostly on this inside part and so we don't want that to dry on there. It will really take away from the look of it. So we're gonna turn it this way and make sure there's not any down through here because that's two separate sheets. I just overlapped the keys over the music. The music didn't go all the way down. So, you know, for some reason, something out there doesn't want me to record this video. <laughs> have any ideas okay so I know that I have glue around the outer portions probably a little bit but I'm gonna get the glue off of here 
And then I'm going to move this paper because it has glue on it. Let's just toss it. It's driving me crazy because my little, my trifold is sticking to it. Okay, so there we go. Now, I was thinking we would cover some of this. Like this is a nice journaling space here. So I'm thinking we will cover those words with either notes or journaling because this is all going to come together. And actually, we should cover this whole thing. What do you think? At least from here to here. This does have a day on it here, but we're still recording. It's a miracle. Let's go ahead and get some words off of here. This isn't, that's not the one I want. We're going to get the word notes and journal off of here. Now, I'm not cutting these out super straight, just so you know. I will straighten them up as we go. And then I thought the, that this had journal on it somewhere. Yep, right there. Right there. This is some of Tracy's from last month, I believe. Some of her uh, letter or words. Not letters, but words. Okay. So see, we have a certain height here we need to go. So we don't, I'm just eyeballing it, guys. So we, we could put notebook here. Or we could put it over here. But it doesn't really fit there. So where's my journal word? I really, if I'd had a lot of white space out beside it, I would have done something for it that way. But I could just call it a journal book and take the notebook off. Let's see what that looks like. Of course, we'll even it up. Mm, that's not bad. Let's just call it a journal book then. Uh, so what I think we'll do is we'll just take a piece of this paper right here and we'll put them together. We'll glue them together on there, but let's ink them first. And straighten them out. I think we should straighten them out. They're not quite as straight as they need to be. It's hard to it's hard to get them straight too when the when the lettering is not just straight up um, cursive or print. Okay. There we go. Let's try this one. At least these two are written the same font and everything. Okay. Now, let me move this other stuff out of the way. So we have no confusion. So I'm thinking we'll go ahead and ink around them, each of them. Because they are on white paper and we really are working on cream. So my fingers... Do not want to pick anything up. I've got to go for a manicure this week sometime. But I won't be polishing my nails because my nails love the glue too much. Okay. So I'm going to turn this around. And you guys, this is not any kind of wonderful. I just, I just try to figure it out as I go along. Okay. So let's do right here. Now I'm going to get my pencil so I know exactly where I want to cut it. Okay. Right here. Let's do this side first and then we'll do the other side. And hopefully this little thing will well, guys, I'm sorry. My video cut off again, so I think we need to give it up for now. And I will show you this um, trifold at the beginning of the next video. 
So I hope you guys had a good time and we will see you next time. If you could give me a thumbs up, even though it's a three part broke up video, I'd appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed, please do. See you next time. Bye.